Hello friends, welcome to the part 3 of the design of reinforced concrete structures where uh, previously we started with the introduction to Indian standard code uh, 456 2000 and we understood uh, uh, types of limit state that is limit state of collapse and limit state of serviceability. So this becomes the method to design the structure. This is the basic method by which our structures are designed. So the first one is limit state of collapse and the second one is limit state of serviceability. So limit state of collapse is uh, dependent on safety and this one is dependent on serviceability. So what do you mean by serviceability and safety we understood in the previous part. But here we will be talking about each and every part in detail. So let us continue. First one limit state of collapse. So what is the limit state of collapse first of all? Why we tell uh, limit state of collapse? Up till what limit are we considering the loading conditions? The resistance to the bending, shear, torsion and axial load. So these are different kinds of load and we are talking about resistance towards it. So the resistance to numerous load at every section shall not be less than the appropriate value. So the resistance what we are talking about here should not be less than there is some minimum value of the resistance should not be less than what the appropriate value at that section produced by the probable most unfavorable com combination of the loads on the structure. So most unfavorable condition. of loading so this what we are talking about is combination of loading there are different kinds of load acting on the structure live load dead load wind load impact load so there are numerous combinations but the thing is most unfavorable con unfavorable conditions of loading but resistance towards the uh, this loading should be more than the unfavorable, unfavorable conditions most unfavorable combinations of load on the structure using appropriate factor or, or partial safety factor so here what we are using is partial safety factor the method here is using partial safety factor So there are two points what we discussed. First is resistance is much more than uh, the most unfavorable conditions of the loading and second one is how can we do to do that to resist the to increase the resistance is using partial safety factors. Now what will be the value or we can say what will be the magnitude of this partial safety factor we will be discussing later on but right now we will understand what is limit state of collapse. So when the word collapse comes in uh, the method of design, the word partial safety factor should be striking at our mind. So in the next lecture we will be talking about limit state of serviceability. So do watch all my videos, like and subscribe.